In this video, we will be starting your chapter number 7 that is getting to know plants. Now see, all around when you look, you see many plants, trees everywhere. So plants grow in land as well, plants grow in water as well. So it has been estimated that there are about 2,50,000 types of plants on earth. Right now, this is the estimation that the scientists have made that there are approx two lakh fifty thousand types of plants. Now, to make the study of plants easier, they have divided the plants into various groups. Like the first group is they have divided as flowering plants. non-flowering plants. plants right which means that there are some plants which uh, have flowers on them and there are some plants which do not have flowers on them if I talk about Tulsi plant it does not have flower if I talk about rose plant it has flowers sunflower these are flowers whereas if I talk about Tulsi plant it does not have flower ferns they do, do not have flower so the first category that we are dividing the plants are into flowering plants and non flowering plants now the previous one we classified the plants on the basis of flowers here we will classify the plants on the basis of size and nature of their stems. Right? Now on the basis of size and nature of their stems, the plants are classified into three parts. That is herbs, shrubs. and trees okay. now there another type of plants that are different from herbs, shrubs and trees are they are the plants like creepers and climbers you might have seen a uh, money plant that is a climber plant because they need a sport and they keep on climbing the wall or a roof or a rod. So you put anything on it, they will climb on it. So some plants are called climbers. In Hindi, we call them bale. Right? They have a huge, big bale. So these are the climbers. Now let's classify the... Uh, herbs, shrubs and trees on the basis of various parameters. Number one is size. See herbs are very small and you can say usually less than one meter. One meter high means the height of the plants are approximately one meter or less than one meter so they are very small. Shrubs, they are medium sized. Usually between 1 to 3 meter high. And if I talk about trees, they are very tall. And they are more than 3 meter high. You can see the trees, they are very very long, very very high. So the trees are the very tall in size. Second comes is the nature of stem. The stems are green, tender and they have few branches. The branches are very few. Then uh, these shrubs have hard stems but not very thick 
see if you uh, see the branches or the stems of a, a tree it is very thick but shrubs do not have very thick stems then if a trees they are hard brown thick and branches are on the upper part of the stem stem which means see this is a stem now this is a tree this is there are some you know leaves on it then here it goes a tree there is are some leaves so the branches start from the upper part of stem but if i say shrubs this is a stem a thick one now there branches starts from the lower part so these are the shrubs then examples if we take grass tomato then wheat mint are the examples of herbs if i talk about shrubs then lemons rose pomegranate hibiscus are some of the examples of shrubs in trees you all know neem people mango tree a guava tree gulmohar tree so all these are some of the examples of trees now in this way we have categorized and we have understood about herbs shrubs and trees let's study about the two others that are creepers and climbers right now creepers these are plant with weak stems that cannot stand upright these are plants with weak stems that cannot stand upright the stems are very very weak they they cannot stand without a support some of these spread on the ground for example strawberry now climbers now they climb up with the help of a support like your money plant then grape vine gourd so they are the example of some climbers do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us